Hi, everybody. We are here backstage at the Prada Show. Actually, we are in the little mini breakfast room. And I am here with the very famous and fabulous Guido, who has just finished most of his models, is taking a little break before we go on stage. And uh, I was just asking him how hairdressing is different from Europe to the US and how it's blended. And go ahead, Mr. Guido. Well, Tell I suppose I, I think there is a big cultural difference, obviously, between um, the US and the UK even though we speak the same language, do you know what I mean? And hair has always been a very sort of English kind of staple, I think, from rock music, you know, from the 50s, 60s. I think we've got a big kind of culture in hair. So I was quite pleased to start my career in London and um, my training in the 80s, which was a great period of hairdressing, some say a really bad period, but it was very kind of, everyone was cutting their hair, everyone was coloring their hair, everyone was styling their hair, so it was kind of very, experimental and very um, out there. So I kind of learned during that period. And I looked at America at that time. I was aware of America because I was sort of into magazines and all that and how sporty and how easy it looked. And I kind of didn't understand that at that point. But when I came over from London to the US, uh, to New York in the early 90s to start working, I started working with Calvin Klein which was a very minimal, um, or is still a very minimal, American designer. And so I started my whole sort of hair, sort of, um, sort of aesthetic had to kind of change slightly, or I had to take on American sort of sensibility. Um, and hopefully 15 years on, maybe longer, eight, 16 years on, I've kind of learned um, an American sensibility and hopefully give it an English touch. Who do you admire? Which hairdressers have have influenced you? Um, obviously, Vidal Sassoon, the great haircuts he did in the sixties and seventies. Um, you know, hairdressers um, like Garen, who's sort of like still working today, but has been around for a bit longer than myself. And I, I always love his work. And a French hairdresser called Julien, who I love his work. It's very kind of French, dramatic, um, and you know some older hairdressers like <coughs> Mr. Kenneth, who was a hairdresser from the sixties, did great bouffants, <coughs> and other sort of magazine hairdressers that people maybe um, don't know. That I was I would flip through the pages of like Vogue and all that and see their names, and that kind of inspired me. And there were lots of people out there um, that um, inspired me and still inspire me. Last question. If you need to be inspired, where do you go? What do you do? I go inside my head because that's where my sort of library is. That's where my references are. And every day I walk down the street and there's you know, millions of people and they've all got hair. And they've all got something idiosyncratic about their hair which I can take from and um, redo and remix in my own way and so it's just keeping my eyes open and keeping this kind of visual library in my head and you know it is today because that's where I'm at the point I'm living but obviously I look at magazines I see films so that all goes in as well and I kind of remix it all up and sort of spit it out and hopefully come out with something. <laughs> Well, thank you. Thank you so much for giving me so much time. Sorry to interrupt your breakfast and can't wait to go see the show. Okay. Cool. Thank you.